valves before the rehearsal dinner last night, before my dad's wonderful speech and um, the common theme that kept coming up as people came up and congratulated me and congratulated us is everybody said, you know, it looks like you really found your best friend. And so the beginning of my vows, when I wrote them started, I know it's a little cliche to say that you're marrying your best friend, but I feel exactly like that's what I'm doing. Um, there's no one in this world that makes me as happy and excited about living life as you do. Whether we're sitting on the couch watch, watching TV or riding our bikes to the prairie or going to New York and watching Broadway shows, just being with you is what makes me happy. We can be doing nothing or everything, and as long as it's with you, that's all I need. Uh, you've made me such a better man. I love that you always challenge and encourage and inspire me to do the things that you know will make me happy. Uh, we've run half marathons together. We've directed the vagina monologues with Terry for four years, which was amazing, and we're about to star in our first play together. Uh, before I met you, I was in a place in my life that I would never have done. So, I love you for unconditionally loving me. You know all of me, the good and the bad, and you've always stood by me, been there for me, no matter what the situation. Surely taught me what it means to love and to be loved. I could talk forever about all the reasons that I love you. You're absolutely beautiful. You make me laugh. You're incredibly smart. But it's really just that being around you, being with you, feels right. And that's all I need and all I've ever wanted. I can't wait to continue to continue this incredible journey with you to start our own family together, to keep being creative, making new art together, to travel, to explore new places together, to keep cooking dinners together, and just keep cuddling on the couch together at night. I promise to always be there for me, no matter what the situation or circumstance, just as you have always, always been there for me. And I promise to be the best man that I can be but you can always be proud to call me your husband. And most of all, I promise to love you as my wife, unconditionally for the rest of my life. I love you. And That was harder than I thought it would be. I love you because you are kind. You treat my family like yours and you always have. You fit right in because you are yourself. You don't care if anyone thinks you look insane. In fact, you kind of like that. <laughs> you know how to make me laugh about the things I actually think are funny. Even the mean things. You humor me. You will always go to the theater or drop everything when I want to be outside. We can do anything together, but you do plenty of things well without me too. Competitive sports, acting, singing soundtracks to entire musicals front to back. I love that you are a feminist, and I believe it. You let me make my decisions, and you support me when I doubt myself. You get angry at people on my behalf, and you temper my anger when I need it the most. It's been said before, probably already tonight, but you have the best hair. <laughs> you are my best and my only true partner. In our marriage, I look forward to lots of stage productions, infamous dinner parties, fabulous trips to different places, more house plants, even though we don't need them, better wine, writing a play together. I know that I will never have to read a manual again, or parallel park, or clean my car. Not that I ever did that to begin with. 
I look forward to the time when I see you at the end of every day and telling you I love you every night before we sleep. I look forward to the things that will surprise me, things that I don't even know yet, knowing we're going to share all of it together. This is what I promised you. I won't ever keep more than four cats or 100 pairs of shoes at once. <laughs> I promise to work harder not to interrupt you in our debates. I promise to be present with you in every way and to remember to give you space and privacy for yourself when you need it. I promise to seek out having fun with you, even in times when it can't be readily found. I promise never to make things too difficult or too easy. I promise to receive all of your family and anyone connected to you with open arms. I promise to always care for you before myself. I know that you'll do the same. I promise to love you fiercely and first. And I promise to ask you for only two things in return. First, that you never become a lawyer. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> but most importantly, that you continue to love me just as you do every day. Yeah. Lucky I got a jump in pocket. <laughs> All right. Now, do you, family and friends of Emily and Dean, promise to support them in their marriage, to offer them wisdom and encouragement in their times of struggle, and to share their celebration in times of joy? If so, say, we do. We do. Thank you. Wedding rings are a tangible symbol of the vows that you just made to each other. Wear them every day to remind yourselves of the promises that you've made. Additionally, realize that when